This video provides an introduction to the Flute project's user interface options, also referred to as UI options. It then demonstrates the process of integrating UI options with a website. UI options is a tool that allows individuals to personalize web content and other user digital interfaces to meet their needs and preferences. It works by adding to the existing styles of a website or application and can be integrated into a design with relatively minimal effort. UI Options provides an accessible drop-down panel that lets individuals choose a variety of adjustments and apply them right away. These settings include modification of text size and style, adjustment of line spacing, changing the screen color and contrast, displaying a table of contents, emphasizing links and buttons, simplifying layout, and enabling text-to-speech without any additional plugins or software. By default, settings are saved using browser cookies. This way, personalizations will apply automatically whenever an individual uses the same website or application. UI Options works on top of the content and interactions that are already present in a website or application. It will not fix any pre-existing issues related to usability, accessibility, or inclusion. The Inclusive Learning Design Handbook and the Inclusive Design Guide are great resources that can help resolve these issues. Links to these resources are provided in the video's description. We will now cover how to install UI options. You are also encouraged to visit the Fluid Project's documentation site for the most up-to-date instructions. We will be using the Social Justice Repair Kit site as an example. Our project directory structure has a directory named lib at the top level. Let's start by downloading a zip archive of the minified version of UI options and placing it in this lib directory. Once there, the archive can be unzipped, which will result in a new directory being created named Infusion. This Infusion directory contains all of the required JavaScript HTML templates, CSS files, and other components to get UI options to work. At this point, the downloaded zip archive can now be deleted. We now need to add a small amount of markup to the top of our web page to specify where the UI options sliding panel and table of contents will be rendered. This markup is being inserted immediately after the body tag. In the head element, we want to link to the CSS and JavaScript files using link and script tags. The paths should point to the lib slash infusion directory. We will now add the UI options component to our page using the script tag. The tag should appear after the prefs editor separated panel div and after the table of contents nav element. In this example, we're placing the script tag at the end of the web page before the closing body tag. Now with these changes in place, let's reload our page. The UI options drop-down panel is being rendered at the top of the page, and all of the adjusters are available to our website users. This was a brief overview of how to set up UI options. To view detailed installation and testing instructions, please visit the Fluid Projects documentation site.